So we're now ready to work with our Kana character and get it ready for the uh, ACE uh, microservice. So we're going to see how to set it up in this uh, video. And uh, before we start, make sure that we have the right uh, URL for connecting to NVCF. Uh, by default, it's set up in the plugin, but make sure that you, you know that it's the right URL and the right port. Also remember the function ID. In this case here, by default, uh, the plugin is set up to clear, but in this case, I want to use the mark model, so I need to remember the function ID. I'll set it up in the, uh, in the uh, ACE player, so that's something to remember. And now we need to set up our character to respect the blend shape setup that is required by ACE. So it's the AR kit blend shape setup. It's made of 52 blend shapes. If you want to find out more about those blend shapes, it's documented on the um, Apple website. Here's a link that you can look at, but you can find some tutorials and some examples on the web as well. And if you download the sample files from, um, from the, uh, the ACE GitHub, those sample files have all the blend shapes and you can reverse engineering, engineer them and look at them and see how they, they, they were set up. They're pretty straightforward. It's, they're very easy to follow. Um, and to recreate. So if you want to create your own setup, that's um, you got good references uh, for that. So that's how it looks like. On if you down, if you look at the uh, samples that we provide, these are the 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 the, um, the blend shapes that we have. What you're going to notice notice in our samples, we don't have the tongue out blend shape. Uh, it's because we don't use it. So since we don't use it, it's not listed here. If you have a character that has the tongue out tongue out blend shape, that's fine. It's going to work. We're just not not provide. We're not going to provide data for that blend shape specifically. The order that you see here is super important. You need to respect that order so that the ACE plugin provides the uh, the ACE uh, microservice provide through the plugin the keyframes to the right blend shape. So the order is super important. So what I'll do here is I'll jump into Maya and we'll set up this character. So this is the James character as you saw in the introduction video. If we look at the um, at the channel box here, there, there's nothing set up for James. It's just a mesh, and we've got all of the blend shape listed here. So if we take a look at a few of those. We've got, um, let's say, bl the uh, blink left. I've got uh, blink right here. So that's another example of the blend shapes. And you can look at all of those if you want to by looking at the mesh, um, the sample mesh that we provide. But anyway, so those are the 52 blend shapes. That's what we're going to use to set up the blend, the blend shapes for this character. Before I do so, we need to be at 30 frames per second. Right now we're at 24, so I'm going to set up 30 frames per second. Here we go. And if we want to be able to scrub and interact with the with the results, I'm going to turn off animation cache playback and uh, we're going to get uh, good results out of that. So we're ready to go and set up our blend shapes. So I select the first one at the top, which is blink left. They are all in the right order. I use shift and select all of them. And then I'm going to select the uh, final mesh or the, the, the neutral mesh of James. And I'm going to go into rigging tools. Make sure that we go and deform and set up blend shapes. And you'll see that immediately the James character will receive the, the blend shapes. And they all are in the right order, which is good for receiving the ACE data. You can keep all of these blend shapes inside of the scene if you want to, if you need to adjust them or make some, some, some changes. In my case here, I'm not going to touch them anymore. So I'm just going to delete them so that we have a cleaner outliner. And um, we uh, a note is that when we have the DAG object only on, uh, you see that you have a lot uh, less um, data being provided here. And that's, that's going to be um, a, a challenge when we want to work with the uh, ACE player because the ACE player is only listed here when the, uh, the DAG object is set to off. So if I leave it on, now I'm not going to be able to see it, but I'll give you a trick on uh, to make sure that we can see it when we when we have it um, in the scene. So I'm ready. I'm going to go and select the uh, the character that has the blend shape set up, and I'll go into Ace and I'll attach a new animation player. And you see that now in the attribute editor, this is the animation player. It's not listed here. So what I, if I want to have it listed? I'm just going to go and create a selection set. And it's going to be there. And now whenever whenever I deselect it and I want to go back to it, I can select it without having the long list of objects in the outliner. So if we look at this, the URL is correct. The port is correct. We're pointing to the environment variable, which is good. The function ID is set up to clear. We want to switch that to, to mark. And I've got it copied in my clipboard. 
which means that I can now paste it here. So those are numbers are for the mark function ID. I'm ready to go. So I need to set up my audio. So I'm going to import an audio file. I've generated an audio to face 11 uh, on 11 labs. So that's an audio that I generated there. And that's what I'll be using for, uh, for, for this example. It's about 150 frames long. So I'll set up my timeline here to 150. And if I go back to my player, make sure that the audio is set up to 11 lab. So now we're ready. We can start requesting animation and we're going to see the process of creating the personality and make sure that we have the right settings or the, and understand better the settings in the part two of this uh, video.